With no plans for our zero day, we simply followed the outlet from the lake. Granite Creek flowed out and down, and we found ourselves wandering across massive granite flows, smoothed over from the force of the annual snow melt, with wildflowers forcing their way up through the cracks and the otherwise solid rock bed. Down and down we wandered into the most magical grove of old growth redwoods, towering taller than we could imagine, still fostering that electric green moss from the winter rains. The creek led us across a lush green meadow where wildflowers were in full bloom. Indian paintbrush, lupines, leopard lilies, and more, all seeming as if they had much longer than but a few weeks each season to show their colors. Eventually, we worked our way back up to Granite Lake, our temporary home. There's Mount Shasta to the east. After the clouds have lifted from this last storm cycle, you can see all that fresh snow up at the summit. The bugs are out tonight. All right, so tonight for dinner, I'm splurging with a Backpackers Pantry Three Sisters stew with some hickory smoked tuna. And I have some extra tortillas, so I'll probably use that to eat it up with, of course, habanero hot sauce. And for dessert, we have some more Swedish fish.
All right, we're leaving our home for the past two nights at Granite Lake and we're heading back up over Seven Up Pass. Now that it's crystal clear out, we're getting our first views of Lassen, the furthest south volcano in the Cascade Range right there, and home to Lassen Volcanic National Park. All right, we're on top of Seven Up Pass once again. And this is where we just came from. So Granite Lake is down there. Mount Shasta is just around the corner from that ridge. Mount Lassen is just poking out over that granite shoulder. There's Justin. And this is where we're going next and where we've been in the previous days. So that's a Sawtooth Peak again out there and Thompson and Caesar. But before we go down, we are gonna drop our packs and scramble up to the top of 7-Up Peak. There's not really a trail up to the uh, top. There's a little bit of a social trail. So it's uh, a lot of loose rock and steep terrain. All right, we're on top of Seven Up Peak at 8,100 feet of elevation. And this is looking to the south. So this is Gibson Peak and Granite Lake was just down below. Seven Up passes straight down here. This is the Trinity Alps that we've explored so far on this trail. So that's Deer Lake and Deer Creek Pass. We're gonna go over later today again over there. Uh, that's Soligo Peak, so we circumnavigated that peak over the past couple days. And behind Saligo Peak, you can see the rolling green mountains of Redwood National Park stretching all the way out to the Pacific Ocean. Here are the White Trinity Alps with Sawtooth, Thompson, and Caesar Peak. Here's to the north. You can actually see the uh, marble mountains of Northern California. That's all solid marble in the ridge line in the back. To the northeast, there is Mount Shasta, the largest volcano in the Cascades with some fresh snow on top of it from uh, the storm system over the last week. And to the south of Shasta, you can see Castle Crags. And this is out to the east, there's Trinity Lake. Bernie Mountain, Hat Creek Rim, and of course, Lassen Volcano with uh, Lassen Volcanic National Park around it. And here's the beginning of California's Central Valley stretching all the way down to LA. And now we have to scramble all the way back down again. All right, 
back to the pass. Time for a quick snack. And then we are heading all the way back down to that meadow down there. We made it up to Deer Lake and it is hot today. I think we might take a dip. After lunch, we are heading up Deer Creek Pass. We're on top of Deer Creek Pass once again. This is where we just climbed up from. That's Deer Lake where we had lunch. There's Justin again. And this is where we're heading slash where we actually started the trail. So now we're going down into this meadow up over that smaller pass right there and nestled in that snowy little bowl in the back is Echo Lake where we spent our first night and where we're planning on spending our final night. All right, we're on top of our uh, third and final pass for today. This is Echo Lake Pass. This is where we've come from. So that is Deer Creek Pass across the valley. And this is where we're heading. So that snowy bowl is what feeds Echo Lake where we're gonna camp tonight. We are back at Echo Lake. So for my last dinner on trail, I'm having my favorite, the uh, Noor rice side cheddar broccoli with lemon pepper tuna with all my leftovers that I didn't finish on trail. So that means a bunch of sweaty cheese and a soft poblano pepper, my runaway hot sauce, and then for dessert, Sour Patch Kids. Sadly, it is our last morning of trail. Time to leave our beautiful camp spot at Echo Lake and head down 
that meadow where the drainage heads, and then up and over Stonewall Pass, which is our final pass, and it'll lead all the way back down to the trailhead. We are on top of our final pass. This is Stonewall Pass, which will take us out of the Trinity Alps Wilderness. Here's where our morning climb started, down below. And about four or five miles down from this pass towards Trinity Lake, our car is waiting for us. Well, we made it back down to the Stony Ridge Trailhead five days later. Thanks for joining us on this uh, colorful tour of the Trinity Alps. So make sure to like the video below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below so you can get notified the next time I post an awesome adventure. Well, take care everyone. See you later.